excuse me. Maybe she isn't here. I wonder if she went for a walk in the woods. Or maybe... Madam Flory, hello! If you're here, say something! Maybe she's behind this door. <gasps> no! Out of the question! You mustn't come in here! Uh, Madam Flory, are you there? Is that you? What are you doing? Oh, wait a moment! Those darling, squishy little footsteps! Is that you, Punio? Oh, it's been aged since I saw you last! You poor dear! Is there something you need? Well, the thing is, we have a problem. The Great Tree's entry hole is blocked. My puny friends are trapped inside, so they're in a pickle, and Mario needs these crystal stars. It's a train wreck, really. That's why we need you to come with us and find the secret entrance, Madame Flurry. Oh, is that all, dearie? You came all the way here just for that? My adorable little puny, you know I would do anything in my power to help you. However, lamentably, I'm in a bit of a bind myself. I just cannot come out, because I'm indecent. It's somewhat embarrassing, but I never go out without my favorite necks. Ah, uh, okay, okay. It's not because you're indecent. Alright, I see. I just can't find the blessed thing. I suspect I dropped down my daily constitution. I'd be simply scandalized if anyone saw me without it. What's anyone gonna say? It's just a necklace, right? I mean, surely, if I saw Danielle out without her, um, accessories, then I'm sure no one's gonna scandalize her, right? You know why it's weird? I'm sure I just heard someone talking about a necklace. What's that? Do speak up! You, whoever just spoke, do you have some clue as to my necklace whereabouts? If you do, you must help me. Please, be a dear, find it, and bring it back to me. After that, I will most certainly join you and help my squishy little friend, Punio. Don't worry, Madame Flurry. I'm sure Mario can find your necklace. Where it is, he's super! Oh, man. Ha, <laughs> nah! What the heck? Great, it's a sign then. Let's find it. I'm sorry to trouble you so. Okay. Let's go and uh, make your way back. And, um... Beldum, I told you, you blame me for losing the sketch, but you had it! Okay, I'm more of the belief that Vivian is uh, correct, in my opinion. Even though there's no proof yet. We must study the sketch! Wait, what the heck? You had it the whole time! Oh, so you're a freaking liar and you decide to blame Vivian just because you don't want to take the blame for it. I swear I've seen this gentleman before. He's Mr. Mustache! I don't believe this Vivian! This is without a doubt all your fault. How is it her fault? I'll be dealing out some strict punishment later, my dearie. Oh yes, I promise you that. What? That's not fair. You're the one who had it. Oh, great. Not wanting to take the blame. Typical. Typical. I was thinking of returning to you, but no more. Oh, great. And since he caused a problem, you have to figure out how to find his Mario chum. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and, and make our way back to those weird-looking people. And, um try to find a way to get our necklace back. Well, I guess it's not ours, it's uh, it's her necklace. So why don't we do that? Oh gosh, the enemies respawn. I'm not gonna fight these again. It's just not worth it. Eventually it gets a little too repetitive. All right, so I equip some badges. In case you're wondering uh, what I what I got right now, and then we go ahead and uh, continue onwards. Whoa, Pronklets are much easier to dodge in this game this time around. Um, they only bother you like once, and then uh, never again. <clears throat> well, if it isn't Mario, shiny mustache or no, you can't be too bright if you came here looking for us. We hee hee, and you know why? Cause we were waiting for you. Oh, that's them. They're the ones who had the. Wait a minute, what? You've been waiting for Mario? What's that supposed to mean, you weirdo? We hee hee. 
I have no quarrel with you, but I simply can't allow you to hunt for the crystal stars. Okay, why do you know this? And so I'll be taking that little map of yours just as soon as I deal with you. Hey, what's your deal? How do you know about the map and the crystal stars? Have you been t talking to Princess Peach or... Wait, what am I saying? The real question is, who the heck are you? Wee hee hee! Those who seek names are often disappointed, but if you insist, we'll tell you. We are... The Three... Shadow Sisters! The Three Shadow Sisters. Vivian, you nimcompoop! What are you blabbling about? It's just shadows! Those three shadows! Okay, so they actually changed it in this version of the game. Um, they were formerly known as the Shadow Sirens, but then they just took out Sirens, so now it's just shadows. I mean, I guess they're shadows, but I don't know. In my opinion, I like Shadow Sirens more. You got some fierce punishment coming your way, old man. I hate being punished. Doesn't anybody hate pe being punished? That's related, though. First, we have to deal with this Mario and his friends. Let's do it, my lovelies, Marilyn, Vivian. The mites of the Three Shadows, relation with hell, will be more than enough to win the day. Oh, okay. Go. It's most unlucky that our sights are set on you. Well, unlucky for you, of course. Marilyn, Vivian, let's show them precisely what we can do. Go. Yes, sis. All right, then. In that case, let's go ahead and do it. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take care of Marilyn first. Um, because Marilyn is the hardest one of the, of the three, so I want to make sure I, I, uh, take care of, of the most annoying one. Uh, alright, so, um, the three shadows. Um, first off, start with Marilyn. Marilyn has 12 HP with 2 attack power. Marilyn has clap attack, and she can charge either herself or her partners for 2 extra damage. Ooh. Oh, that move is awkward to dodge. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. All right, that, 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 that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, next up, um, and then her uh, other move is Thunder. So she can cause a, uh, a bit of a thunderstorm on us, and uh, it, it's, kind of, it, it kind of, it's kind of a dreadful move, um, even though it's not that bad. It's only two damage, it's not that bad. Uh, next up is Beldum. Beldum is the oldest of the sisters, uh, with 9 HP, 1 attack power. She has Ice Punch, which you just saw. She has Blizzard, which does 2 damage. Uh, she can make, uh, uh, either- she can make us, uh, grow- uh, she can make her partners grow for extra damage, or she can make us shrink for- uh, to reduce our damage. Um, oh my gosh! Oh, and that's the shrink move right there. Holy moly. Okay. This is, this is not cool. Or at least, not as well as I want. Okay, there we go. Marilyn's down. Alright, but then, uh, finally we got Vivian. Vivian has 10 HP, right? Yeah, 10 HP, 1 attack power, with Shade Fist and Fiery Jinx. Uh, these are fiery moves. Um, and, uh, they each do 1 damage. Uh, I believe Fiery Jinx caught, inflicts burn, and burn is, uh, kind of a bad st status ailment, because it'll take damage every turn. Okay, nice. Oh, and there's and there's the grow right there. Okay, all right. So let's see. Uh, let's do this. Ah, oh, man. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, uh, that's okay. I'm not, I'm not full. Um, uh, I'm not I'm not full anyway. So that's fine. Oh, what? I- Oh, what the heck? That's crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Are you, are you turning back to normal? Okay, good. You are. Alright. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to use... Uh, what should I use, actually? I think I'm... I think I'm actually going to use a Fire Flower on both of these. On both of them. Oh, 
Okay, very nice. And then we'll just finish off uh, Beldum. Because Beldum's already almost down anyway. And there we go. Now it's up to you! Okay, one more. I just realized we're actually close to a level up, which is actually going to be awesome. Alright, so you're almost done. So I'll just uh, go ahead and uh, do this. And then I do not actually have enough uh, FP to... Um, I don't have the FP to use multi bomb, so I guess you're going to be taking off to on the next turn. I'm surprised you're not using Fiery Jinx yet. Are you using Fiery... You're not using Fiery Jinx. Okay. That's okay. Because uh, you're going to go down, like, right now. Kablamo! And that is the Three Shadows, or formerly the, the Shadow Sirens. Alright, and then we level up. Alrighty then, so what I'm going to upgrade, probably more badge points. Alrighty then, so now I can equip more badges, which I'll be sure to do in the next video. Oh, maybe we were just a touch overconfident, or maybe you just suck, one or the other. We would have won if you two pulled your way out, Gray. So you, you, again, don't want to, don't want to, don't want to take the blame for yourself. You don't want to admit that that you lost because you were just. Um... Oh, the necklace! Leave it. Well, she looked at us for some reason. That's Flurry's necklace. Yes, let's take it to her. Oh, okay, so that was her necklace the whole time. All right, nice. Let's go and dodge these enemies. Oh, what? Oh, this is one of the uh, effects that um, Merle can do. So now what Merle is going to do is we are going to get a ton of coins, a crap ton of coins. Look at that. Look how many coins we got right there. Um, there's more effects that hopefully we'll see from Merle later. All right. And uh, we pretty much just have to make our way back over here. So I decided to just not show the process because... Well, why would I? Alright. Let's go ahead and make our way over to um, Flurry's house. Now that we got our uh, the, now that we got her necklace back. Alrighty. Oh poor me. When will I see my precious necklace again? Alright, here you go. Oh, you delightful fellow! You found my necklace! I'm beside myself, truly! But you still must have seen me. Please leave the necklace by the door and wait a moment. Okay, then. Oh, man, we turn around, too. Oh, splendid! My oh-so-ravishing necklace! I'm a wash in joy! Oh, my gosh, what is happening? Oh my word, Mario, isn't it? Are you my heroic little necklace hunter? Well, my, 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 aren't you a fine specimen of a man? Yes, indeed. I simply must thank you for your graciousness. But how do I do it? Perhaps if I grabbed you and gave you a little sugar? Oh no, here I come, handsome. Time to give you a proper thank you, pucker up! Oh my gosh, what is this? Dang, this is the third character that Mario's gotten a kiss from. First it was Gumbella, second it was um, the the bandit mouse thief, um, and then we got Flurry. It's a foursome. The very same crystal star spoken of by all the lowlifes in Roku. I love it. I love it. They're all lowlifes. And here I was thinking how frightfully bored I was. It's time for a change. And besides, I do declare that plush mustache of yours has completely swooned me. A man as manly as you must attract all sorts of trouble, and I want to keep you safe. 
So I dare say I'll be joining you on this little adventure. I assume that's fine, Mario. And we get Flurry. So the way Flurry works is that whenever you use her ability, she can blow stuff away, which also which includes like these papers that, that like have a slight peel off of them. And a lot of the times, whenever you do that, something will be hidden behind um, those uh, peeled off papers. Uh, so you want to make sure you pay attention to uh, pay very close attention to, to this stuff because that's going to solve uh, quite a bit of puzzles throughout this chapter as well as find hidden areas uh, throughout the game. Alright then. And then uh, in battle, she has to move Body Slam and Gale, which uh, whenever I'm in battle, I can show that off. So here's what Body Slam looks like in battle. So here we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and aim for this one. So you want to make sure the cursor is aim it was within the target, so that way you can aim for uh, the enemy, just like that. And then this is what Gale Force looks like. So here we go. And based on the higher the bar, the more likely it is to blow enemies away. And of course, you'll miss on experience when you blow enemies away. Um, so I don't use this move very often. In fact, Flurry in general, I honestly use the least in battle. Um, particularly, I'm not like super fond of her moveset. She's okay, but I'm not fond of her moveset. RDM Premier Issue, Rogue Port Today, bringing you all the up-to-the-moment news as it happens. We have details of yet another incident at the parlor in West Rogueport. Outrage by the high Piazza prices, Goomfree is suspected of violently shaking the Piazza Changer, causing the Piazza Changer's alarm to sound, which led to the Piazza Changer ceasing to function for a brief period. The parlor was forced to close down temporarily. The victim was quoted as saying, I am a machine. No matter how hard I am shook, I feel no pain. End interview. Shop where go! Get all the hottest shopping news about all the hottest shopping spots in the world! If Petalburg's your destination, you can't miss the shop that's been the talk of the town for the last 20 years. Nifty Shop. The friendly owner has long been thought to be the most eligible bachelor in town. But word is he's secretly in love with the girl in the inn. The wise and witty shopkeeper had this to say. You only live once, so enjoy it while you can. Shop now at good old Nifty's shop. Cooking for rookies! Interested in cooking but don't know what to cook? Try our chef's delicious suggestion. Today's yummy recipe, mushroom fry. Just season your mushrooms, saute them up, and they're ready for the dinner table. Editor's note, we hope you enjoyed RDM's premiere issue. You can look forward to future editions coming your way soon. Published by Rogueport Restoration Committee. Now you'll get those every once in a while. They're not like super important, uh, but um, they're fun reads every once in a while. Okay, so, we're supposed to make our way to the great tree uh, now that we got flurry in our team which we're going to be doing next time so with that being said that is going to be it for this episode of paper mario thousand your door and next time we're headed back to the great tree and we're, hopefully we can save the punies that are within the tree itself thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time goodbye mm -hmm.